In today's exploration, we dive into a transformative vision presented by Sam Altman in his seminal essay, Moore's Law for Everything. Through Altman's eyes, we're offered a glimpse into a future where the rapid advancement of artificial intelligence isn't just a shift in technology, but a seismic upheaval in our economic and social fabric. This vision challenges us to reimagine our relationship with work, wealth, and each other in a world where AI's capabilities exponentially expand. Join us as we unpack the layers of this future, the challenges it presents, and the opportunities it holds for humanity. Part one, the AI revolution. Altman begins with bold assertion. The AI revolution is not only imminent, but will redefine the essence of human capability. Our ability to think, create, understand and reason. Unlike the technological leaps of the past, AI's influence will permeate every aspect of our lives, automating tasks from the mundane to the complex. This isn't just about machines taking jobs, it's about a fundamental shift in how wealth is created and who benefits from it. The AI revolution promises to unlock new forms of wealth and opportunity but only if we're prepared to navigate the ethical and economic quandaries it presents. Part two, Moore's Law for Everything. Drawing inspiration from Moore's Law, Altman extends the principle to predict a future where not just computing power, but everything becomes more efficient and less costly. Imagine a world where the price of housing, education, healthcare, and even food drops exponentially, thanks to advancements in AI and automation. This vision of plummeting costs isn't purely utopian, it's a projection based on the trajectory of technological progress. However, this future hinges on our ability to adapt our economic models to ensure that the benefits of such technological abundance are widely distributed rather than concentrated in the hands of a few. Part three, capitalism for everyone. Altman's solution to the potential disparities wrought by AI is as radical as it is compelling. Reforming capitalism itself to ensure that everyone benefits from the wealth AI generates. This involves taxing the assets that will hold the most value in the future, namely companies and land, and redistributing this wealth to all citizens. Such a system promises not only to mitigate the inequalities inherent in our current economic model, but to forge a society where economic growth and inclusivity go hand in hand. This vision of capitalism for everyone is ambitious, but Altman argues that it's not only feasible, but necessary. Part four. Implementation and troubleshooting. Implementing a new economic model on the scale Altman proposes is fraught with challenges, from assessing the value of land and companies to ensuring compliance and managing the transition. Altman suggests practical steps to address these challenges, emphasising the importance of aligning incentives and creating a robust system for wealth distribution that is fair, transparent, and adaptable. This part of the vision requires careful planning and the willingness to experiment and learn from setbacks, underscoring the complexity of shifting to a new economic paradigm. Part five, shifting to the new system. The transition to this future won't be instantaneous or easy, but Altman posits that the changes ahead offer an unparalleled opportunity to redefine what it means to live in a prosperous society. Drawing parallels with historical moments of great economic and social transformation, he suggests that the adoption of AI and a new approach to wealth distribution could usher in an era of unprecedented freedom and opportunity. This isn't just about adjusting to new technologies, it's about proactively shaping a future that reflects our highest aspirations for equity, creativity, and shared prosperity. Conclusion. 
Sam Altman's Moore's Law for Everything challenges us to envision a future that is radically different from our present, yet within our grasp. It's a future where technology liberates us from scarcity, where wealth is not hoarded, but shared, and where each individual has the means to pursue their vision of a good life. This vision is not without its hurdles, and achieving it will require boldness, imagination, and the collective will to steer the course of progress towards a more equitable horizon. The journey ahead is uncertain, but the destination, a world where everyone benefits from the bounty of technology, is a goal worth striving for. As we stand on the brink of this new era, the question we must ask ourselves is not whether this future is possible, but what we're willing to do to make it a reality.